Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. Today, what I got for you guys here is going to be my reaction to the War Table deep dive for the Mighty Thor. That's right, Jane Foster Thor is going to be dropping into Marvel's Avengers tomorrow, and we're getting a first glimpse at the gameplay and everything that this character is going to have to offer in this war table. Before we jump into this though, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you're looking forward to the mighty Thor dropping into this game tomorrow, well then scroll down right now, hit that thumbs up button, share your excitement with me. If you're new here and you wanna keep up to date on all things Marvel's Avengers, I got you covered on that. Make sure you subscribe, turn on those notifications, and you'll be immediately notified when a video goes live and I'll keep you up to date on this game. And with that said, Let's do this, let's react. Okay, Marvel's Avengers War Table Deep Dive, the Mighty Thor. Let's hit play here in three, two, one. I, I gotta be honest, I don't know how I feel too much about the first character in like seven months. More than that, maybe. No, seven months. Being another Thor. But we'll see. She does look sick. There's that much. She looks sick. Jane Foster is the mighty Thor. For she design. is worthy. She looks cool. I can't lie. I can't lie. Assemble your team, Midgardians. The goddess of thunder has arrived Mid in Marvel's Guardians. Avengers. Our new hero, Jane Foster, is the mighty Thor. She is a ferocious force of nature with even more precise control of Mjolnir. A lot of, she, lot of like Thor. Odinson before her, is yeah. Thor. Her new twist on playing as the God of Thunder means new team compositions and fresh co-op play. This allows original approaches to community events, endgame Omega level threats, okay. and raid challenges. I a little Jane different. Foster is a gifted doctor known for her skills and compassion for others. But fate had an even higher calling for her as the legendary goddess of thunder, the mighty Thor. Okay, okay. The story of Jane's epic transformation into the goddess of thunder originates from the iconic comics written Great by comic. Jason Aaron. She first appeared as the goddess of thunder in issue one of 2014's Thor. After Thor Odinson becomes unworthy to wield his hammer, Mjolnir sits dormant on the moon. Many try to pick it up, but none are deemed worthy. Until Jane, concept who is battling story. cancer, hears Mjolnir calling out to her. Wielding the very awesome weapon, one. she transforms into the mighty Thor. Her adventures continued her in 2015's in the Mighty comics. Thor series and 2019's War of the Realms, culminating in an epic conclusion yep. of Jane's arc when yep. she transcends mortality and is reborn as Valkyrie. That's really cool. In Marvel's Avengers, Jane, the Mighty Thor, is torn from an alternate timeline through a rift in okay, space so it is a multiverse thing. That's right. Anomalies. In her alternate timeline, Jane became the goddess of thunder when Thor gave up Mjolnir after a day, stricken with grief over the tragedy and oh. Jane's cancer diagnosis that followed. When Jane takes on the powers of Thor, her illness is held at bay. There's no going back to her normal life now. She must fight on as the mighty Thor. I, I wish there was story content with her being added into the game. Like this Jane's stuff would have been Thor interesting. All the strength and power of a god of thunder so, like, play and is a and see wielder of Mjolnir. For Long years of watching Thor Odinson up close have allowed the good doctor to fight with Mjolnir like a natural born god. However, Jane's relationship with Mjolnir just looks isn't very that of a similar son of Asgard, to <laughs> and she deploys the mighty hammer in ways that Odinson yeah. never did. Jane's unique talents with Mjolnir begin with All Mother's Blessing, her new unique intrinsic ability, okay. and God Tempest, her new overcharge, okay. inspired by the Elder God sealed within Mjolnir. All Mother's Blessing builds its yeah, overcharge like that moves the heavy with attack, melee attacks that. and once full, unleashes her God Tempest, which increases ranged hammer damage and oh. creates shockwaves with each hit. Oh, cool. All Mother's Blessing and God Tempest can be modified with mastery skills to boost damage, increase the strength of shockwaves, and improve intrinsic generation and duration. Nice. In her comics, Jane frequently shows more finesse with Mjolnir than the Odinson, and that shines through in several new features okay. in her combat kit. This includes Quick Fire, a new ranged attack combo that allows the mighty Thor to make a second, more okay. powerful ranged attack by tying right. in her next throw new as stuff. she catches like Mjolnir that. on its return. Jane's That's abilities, what I hear. such as her ranged power attack, draw her cool. inspiration from the epic combat in the comics. 
A great example of this is the seek and pin upgrade to her ranged attack. That's pretty which cool. Which empowers Mjolnir to seek out and pin enemies without I like needing that. to aim. I like that, her actually. Her masterful control even extends to melee strikes with Earth's finest, which adds a hammer toss to her light attack combo for extra reach. Jane okay. also puts her own spin on classic Odinson moves like Headstrong. Yes. She relies on okay. her thunder kick, a brutal front kick that sends enemies flying. That's sick. The Mighty Thor's kit culminates in the All Weapon, her brand new ultimate heroic. Drawn from the pages the of her Thor and Valkyrie runs, <laughs> Jane sends Mjolnir to seek and destroy nearby enemy targets on oh. its own. Meanwhile, she calls forth Undyr, oh, the All Weapon, to protect herself, reducing all damage oh, taken while like smiting her frames. foes. The all weapon has a full set of specializations and allows this you is to customize awesome. Mjolnir's strikes, making them faster and channeling powerful shock status against nearby enemies. Yo. Jane can even use Mjolnir as a personal orbiting Okay, defense okay. The addition of the Mighty Thor creates new oh, team opportunities line. by adding a third <laughs> flying warrior to the Avengers roster. Jane leans into Thor's lightning-driven kit while adding exciting new abilities like epic enemy obliteration with Undiarn. Okay, what do we got now? All right, the costume. In addition to her awesome godlike combat abilities, Jane has a variety that comic of outfits look. drawing inspiration from the comics. Oh, is that the Valkyrie look? I think so. Oh yeah, that's the comic. Oh yeah, unique takedowns, the comic look is plates. nice. She also has her own hero challenge card and mission yep. chain, allowing you to earn special rewards, including exclusive cosmetics and intel documents that delve deeper into Jane's story. The Goddess that's of Thunder cool. brings fresh gameplay to Marvel's Ooh. Avengers. Jane's mighty Thor is an unstoppable force of nature that new players and seasoned vets alike will want to experience. Our recent changes to the leveling flow in update 2.3 and event rewards in update 2.4 yeah. make gearing a new hero smoother and more rewarding than ever. That's good. It's a great time to jump back into Marvel's Avengers, so get your team together and call down lightning on your foes. All right. All right, let's go ahead and loop that, and then we'll uh, we'll bring that down because I think the war table is done, unless there's one little thing at the end. No, okay. So... I'm just going to say this much. I'll say this much from the top. Um, number one, uh, I completely agree with every single person out there who's saying that it is a little disappointing that after the seven month wait for PlayStation users, when we last had Spider-Man, the newest character that's added into the game is for the most part, another Thor, like a, a Thor clone. Um, and then it's even more frustrating for people who are on other consoles, PC, Xbox, Stadia, whatever it might be. Because they haven't had a character added into this game since Black Panther in August, which is pretty much a year ago now. Um, and and so for it to be Jane Foster Thor, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just that for it to be a character that comes with no story content, that comes with no DLC, like no additional content besides the fact that there's a new playable character, is certainly disappointing. Um, I, I will say that this game has so much work to do to kind of win back some of the player base. I know that there's a lot of hardcores out there, a lot of fans out there that still play this game to this day. A lot of people who play it religiously even, I've seen it. So some people are going to deny that, but tr trust me, I've seen it and I believe it. I'm not one of them. I haven't played this game in a little while, actually. Tomorrow will be the first time that I jump back into Marvel's Avengers in a couple of months. So I, I look forward to seeing what Jane Foster, the Mighty Thor, is going to have to offer. The one thing I was hoping for that this delivered for me was just at least at the very least some new gameplay mechanics, something to where I'm not going to sit there and be like, this is quite literally a, another Thor being added into the game, all the same animations and everything. There's plenty of that. Don't get me wrong, but at least she has a couple of new abilities. Her ultimate looks really sweet. And some of the things that you can do with it, you get that new hammer. I miss it. I forgot the name of it that they mentioned here. You get the new hammer, and then you can do things with Mjolnir. You can have it tracking and attacking enemies, or you can have it orbiting around you as like a defense shield. I think that's very creative. I think that's really fun. And that gives you like, that feels like her inclusion in this game is earned when they do things like that. So hopefully there's plenty of it. The RPG mechanics in this game allow for plenty of customization and allow for you to make these characters feel like your own. But even when they were explaining the story, for Jane Foster's Thor in Marvel's Avengers in the context of this game, I found that to be very interesting. And actually, I would love to see that. Even if 
there were story missions and the cutscenes were the motion comics that we see, you know, that they put out online. I wouldn't mind that too much. Obviously, I'd prefer if there were actual cutscenes, but I wouldn't mind that too much if it means that there are story missions to play, that there's an actual through line, a campaign, something of an, of an objective with Jane Foster's Thor and not just us listening to audio logs. That was incredibly disappointing for me when we got Spider-Man back in December, and I'm not much looking forward to it when we get Thor or the mighty Thor tomorrow. So I don't know how to feel about it. I, I think we can all agree though, that it's high time we see some Avengers. You know, we gotta get Scarlet Witch, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange. Some people out there are requesting people like Ant-Man, who's been in the game since the start and is a character in the story, but of course not as Ant-Man, just as Hank Pym. So when are we gonna get some of those heavy hitters? We got Black Panther last year. We got Spider-Man in December for PlayStation. Mighty Thor isn't a character that you go and look at in the comic books and consider to be an Avenger. Great character, interesting comic storyline, no doubt about it. I'm looking forward to playing Ezra tomorrow, but I want some Avengers added into this game. You know, it's Marvel's Avengers. Give me those heavy hitters, because they did a good job with the Black Panther DLC. In my personal opinion, I liked the storyline. I liked playing as the character, all the cosmetics and the, and the combat and everything. That character really worked on a lot of levels for me. And if we were getting updates like that more consistently, I promise you that this game would have a very healthy player base and a lot of people that are, for the most part, satisfied with Marvel's Avengers. It's just, it's buggy. The frame droppage in this video even is rough to watch and it's rough to play through sometimes as well. It's just, there's a lot of problems with Marvel's Avengers. They're still playing catch up and it's unfortunate because I'm sure if there was some way that we can guarantee that this game gets support for the next couple of years, then in the next couple of years, it'll probably be a really good game. It'll be a game that people come back to and say, whoa, I did not realize how good this was. I just don't know if it's going to survive until that time, but we'll have to wait and see. That's my thoughts on the Mighty Thor. Now I want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the gameplay? What do you think about the alternate costumes and everything? I want to hear what you all have to say in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider hitting that thumbs up button, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.